Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Miss Frizzle, and I wanted to give some background on Miss Frizzle real quick. So, a little while back, I decided I wanted buff Cochins, but I wasn't willing to spend all the money for show quality Cochins to begin with, so I wanted to try something on the cheaper side to just see if I liked Cochins, and I do. I absolutely love them. So, one of the ways that I got my buff rooster was he came with this lovely lady. I have never had nor really been interested in having um, any frizzle chickens and I'm going to share with you why and some of the dangers that you can run into when you end up getting a frizzle chicken. Now, I totally understand they're adorable and they have very sweet little personalities. But they come with some challenges and some warning labels that nobody really tells you. So I was obviously um, given this sweet girl thinking that she was a true first generation Frizzle. I have a feeling she is a second generation Frizzle, which some people also call Frazzle, which sounds adorable. But let me show you um, what can easily happen when you start breeding Frizzles together, especially for more than one generation. And then I'm going to talk about how you avoid this if you would like to own Frizzles, which is totally fine, okay? I just, as a breeder, I don't want to do that. So here are poor Miss Frizzle's wings. And I don't know if you can even see that, but she has the feather shaft and almost no feathers. So when she arrived, she looked pretty bad. I'll show you some of the footage of us cleaning her for the first time. The reason I'm not a huge fan of frizzles is because their feathers break really easily. So you may notice that her wings have very few feathers at all. And I don't know if that's his fault, if that's the environment the environment she was in before I got her or what it is. But I want you to very carefully look at what she currently looks like. Okay? She is extremely dirty and she she came to me that way. So we're going to see if some little TLC can help this poor girl. If I'm lost along the way If I wander off onto a different trail Will you forgive me if I fail When I'm lost and erased Now, um, I really do believe in time she will probably grow these feathers back, but it's going to take, but it's really going to take some TLC for this girl. And at our farm, of course, we are a breeding farm, and I don't have any coops that are roosterless, so I'm actually going to be getting ready our sweet frizzle girl here to go to her new home today. That they do not have any roosters. They have other small bantams that won't probably pick on her. And I think it's gonna be a really great place for her. So let's talk really quick about how you do keep these fragile creatures safely. So what I often see breeders doing is they will just have a frizzle rooster. Now this takes care of their flock because you mix with smooth feathers. There are frizzle and smooth of all, almost all cochins, and they mix those flocks together so as to not run into these problems. They don't mix frizzle with frizzle. And I, I guess I don't know, obviously, every situation, whether or not they tell the people that are buying them, hey, if you're gonna breed your own and hatch out chicks, please don't mix this frizzle with another frizzle. It often runs into problems and breakage of feathers. It is a genetic anomaly that I'm not sure was ever supposed to be duplicated. It's like so many things. And it's one of the reasons I will probably, I do not ever plan to raise frizzles. I took her because I could tell she was kind of in a, a bad situation in a coop with way too many roosters. 
Um, but I think it would probably be best that she live out her life as an egg layer and a pet and not a breeding chicken. So I am about to soak her feet again to get them clean because cochins are really hard to keep um, their feathers clean. I'm going to go ahead and show you what she looks like even on my farm where I clean often and all that stuff. So I'm about to, to scrub her up a little um, to get her ready for her new home. And I, then I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare my coop. We hope you found that video helpful. If you did, we hope that you subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications so that you can catch us next time here on the farm. Bye guys!